Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Beverly Hillbillies is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of the Beverly Hillbillies. Sharon Tate was born in 1943. In the sitcom, she plays Janet Trago. In 1963, when she was in the sitcom, she was 20 years old. And sadly, she passed away on August 9, 1969, at 26. Let me at him! Oh, what, young lady? I wouldn't get my hopes up too high. The looks of you, you ain't got much chance. I think she was a fantastic one person, and nobody could ever duplicate that. So I don't really pay any attention to those kind of comments. Max Baer Jr. was born in 1937. In the sitcom, he plays Jethro Bodine. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 25, and now he's 86. Done at my last meal, Uncle Jed. I'm just getting ready to push all this stuff into the cement pond. What fair? I aim to break Linda's heart like she broke mine. 500,000 people watch the show every single day somewhere in the United States. So it's because of all of the, the, the new technology. When I was a kid and... B. Benadaret was born in 1906. In the sitcom, she plays Cousin Pearl Bodine. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 56, and sadly she passed away on October 13, 1968, at 62. Company that paid Cousin Jed all that money for his wall. <laughs> 25 million to be exact. <laughs> you, you ain't here to back out, are you? I love that roly-poly little man, Sergeant Schultz, John Banner. Isn't he wonderful? We watch Hogan's Heroes all the time down at Petticoat Junction, wouldn't miss it. Donna Douglas was born in 1932. In the sitcom, she plays Ellie Mae Clampett. In 1962, in the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and sadly she passed away on January 1, 2015, at the age of 82. Well, I reckon she can keep it about as good as the others have. <laughs> got some more too, Paul. Where do you want them? I want them where Mrs. Drysdale is sure to see them. Different groups and everything. Absolutely. So, uh... I share a lot. I've traveled. Been to Israel five times, traveled all over the United States, Canada. Been mm -hmm. about Nancy Cobb was born in 1921. In the sitcom, he plays Jen Hathaway. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 41. And sadly, she passed away on February 1st, 1991, at 69. Who says I can? Well, it's the only vacancy in the building, and the Baker and Associates have been waiting six months for it. They're moving in this afternoon. How much money have they got in my bank? Well? Well, it had to be a terribly exciting thing. Oh, it was. It was unbelievable. It was one of those things that just stun you. You can't believe it's really happening. And even today, I wish, I wish one could... Irene Ryan was born in 1902. In the sitcom, she plays Daisy Moses. In 1962, in the sitcom, she was 60 years old. And sadly, she passed away on April 26, 1973, at the age of 70. That sign on the front. It says vote for Maggie. Tea come out in the open at last. She's digging on the side. She's campaigning for re- Pretty? <laughs> Five seconds. Michael, you have the game. Buddy Epson was born in 1908 in the sitcom he plays Jet Clampett. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 54 and sadly passed away on July 6, 2003 at the age of 95 hurt the sheik's feelings, but I can't keep this present he gave me. It's a bunch of girls. No, sir, not pearls. Girls! <laughs> a real life. Look up to you, or...? Well, a lot of people uh, do. One of the people is uh, George C. Scott. I've always... Frank Cady was born in 1915. In the sitcom, he plays Sam Trucker. In 1968, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53 and sadly passed away on June 8, 2012, at the age of 96. Hardly ever allows his picture to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame him? <laughs> Mr. Ducker, please show some respect. Mr. Hughes is a very... Chuck Fisher was born in 1907. In the sitcom, he plays Shorty Callums. 
In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 62 and sadly passed away on March 16, 1984, at 76. Two front rooms. This year was fair. Uh, three uh, acrobats or jugglers or some such out of Kansas City. Likely a while. Frank Wilcox was born in 1907 in the sitcom he plays John Brewster. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55 and sadly passed away on March 3, 1974, at 66. Halloween! <laughs> uh, you don't celebrate Halloween here in the hill? Well, I never heard of it. What's it like? Well, uh, uh, it's an... Raymond Bailey was born in 1904, in the sitcom he plays Milburn Dristel. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58 and sadly passed away on April 15, 1980, at the age of 75. Temple of Greed. I've associated myself with a fine young group of strikers and demonstrators. Alvia Allman was born in 1904. In the sitcom, she plays Alverna Bradshaw. In 1963, when she was in the sitcom, she was 59, and sadly she passed away on March 6, 1992, at 87. Sweet girl. Uh, too bad she's such an atrocious cook. Now, my daughter is a wizard in the kitchen, uh, besides being divinely attractive. Harriet E. McGibbon was born in 1905. In the sitcom, she plays Mrs. Margaret Ristel. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on February 8, 1987, at the age of 81. That dear? Granny is running behind. She probably thinks she can beat you to the corner. Beat me? In a limousine? Oh, how utterly absurd. When we reflect on the incredible journey of the Beverly Hillbillies that took place between 1962 and 1971, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.